喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵。Kitty cats, we're doing kitty cats. Here we have BB and Finn. They're two black cats. Now, with black cats, it's fun because I get to go back and forth between the purple and teals using the bright palette. Bright palette is one of my most popular palettes. I personally love them because they just emulate joy. Even with the black cat, using those purples for the undertones, using the teals for the shadows, I just think it brings out so much personality into it, and it just creates such a fun like combination of colors. Here we have two cats now for two animals. Typically, we have them on a horizontal plane. No, hold on, this is a fun part. Fun as in not fun, but you'll see here, I get pretty frustrated soon <laughs> with that cat. Oh my gosh, I get so frustrated, I just scrape it all out. <laughs> happens, guys, happens. Happens a lot more often than I think people see, so I'm glad that was captured on film and my husband decided not to edit that out. But <laughs> I did scrape out of face. I promise you during this time, I'm just like, grrr, my face is probably making like, frustrated like nose up and just frankly face when I'm doing that it's just getting so frustrated <laughs> it's very rare that I do that but it's also really really good to just scrape it off and just be like you're a blank face I'm gonna work on the other cute cat and when I come back to you you're gonna behave <laughs> that's probably what was going through my head during this time happened so often that you know it's kind of a script and so I'm working more on BB right now and trying to get all of those little highlights even though it's a dark cat I want to make sure I get the highlights and when I feel calm down the key here is to not feel the heat of disappointment like you know when you get upset at something you feel like there's like a heat in your chest or in your stomach and you're like you're heated you like you know you could punch something <laughs> So it happens in paintings too. And when I'm getting heated, I just take a step back, work on something else, you know, like the other cat, which really handy that the other cat was right there. And then come back to it when I'm feeling a little more cooled down and ready to take on a challenge. And that's what I did. So going in to Finn now, I can get the highlights, going back and forth. Oh, the wispies in a cat's ear are so fun. I just, maybe it's a good thing I don't have a cat because I would just go in and just tickle the wispies of a cat's ear. They're so long. <laughs> They're just so long and stick out of the cat ear. And I'm pretty sure the cat wouldn't like that. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think cats like it when you tickle their wispies in their ear. Oh, well. Well, here we go with BB and Finn adding those details going back and forth. It's nice going back and forth to make sure that uh, the painting looks even to each other since I do one animal at a time. Going back in and getting those shadows. Oh, there's a yawn there. Hopefully, JJ can bring it back. And then <laughs> putting in the shadows, putting the highlights back and forth. This is more blended, so it's really fun to get like a thick layer. You see, it was started with purple and adding the teals on top. Ta da! Next we have Albus. I remember this photo was super high quality. Guys, give me high quality photographs. I promise you as a pet portrait artist, like it helps. It truly, truly helps. So Albus is an orangey cat with, well, I don't think Albus was very as bright orange, but I was like, you know what? Let's go for it. <laughs> it's so fun to like play with these palettes and go back and forth and get Albus's bow tie. Ugh, I don't. How, how do you guys, how does this happen? It's how much training does it take to make animals comfortable with wearing clothes? I, I wonder, asking asking for my dogs, because when they wear bandanas, they already like scratch it as much as possible. They just don't like wearing clothes. Um, they're much better now. I don't know, bow tie? Hmm, we'll have to try that on Hef. Look at this little itty bitty cute nose. Look at those bright, bright, bright eyes. Look at those, 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 those white, 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 white highlights. Oh, that swoop. Did you see that swoop? I love that swoop. Those swoops right there. See how it has double colors? Part of why I love using the palette knife is that I don't really like clean clean the brush or the palette knife um, if I'm going between like orange and white and lighter colors. And then you get like a big like magical moment where the colors kind of blend. They're all in one quick swoop and it's captured in a moment. I think those 
those markings are really what makes impostos such a unique and special piece. It's truly just in the moment, you know? I'm being very careful with Albus's eyes because there's like very, it's very white and clear and light around it. So that's what I did. Here's Albus. Ta da! Niles. Niles had a little bit of the ear just like missing. <laughs> and I believe it was requested to have the little nib there too. So, Miles, I used a lighter purple. Um, I think Niles like wasn't a black, black cat, but it was definitely darker and there were markings on it. So, I oh, love using the purple and orange mixed like pattern there. I love, I love, 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 love doing that. Um, because the opposite color of purple is yellow, um, the orange is like one off, and it, I just I love the like using opposite colors to create a piece. I think it makes colors pop. I mean, color theory it does make colors pop. It makes the colors look very different when they're next to each other. So using an orange and purple, it makes me very happy. Um, getting in the eyes. So here I scraped out some of the paint in there because it is wetted to wet I want to have like a little more of a clean space so that the paint can hold when it's wet to wet it's hard for paint to hold onto the canvas so if you scrape it out and then put the paint in it'll hold and add more smaller details a lot easier oh, these eyes Niles you got some cute ass eyes oh am I allowed to say that you got some cute eyes <laughs> Pink nose, cute eyes. Oh, I love the end part. Just adding those swoops to like bring it all together. Ta-da! This should be called like the swoop video. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Go ahead and hit subscribe, leave a comment, or you can visit my website or Instagram in the description below. Thank you!